Deacon, Deacon James saw what he was enjoying, he went and got his family. They're pretty girls. Now we got Malcolm. Hallelujah. <laughs> let, us, let us share today. Let me share with you today. Today I want to call your attention to the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 13. And I'd like to begin reading, if I could, at verse 31. I see all of these young people in here. It's a joy to have you today. All these little uh, pretty girls and these handsome boys. Pretty little handsome fellows. Amen. Walking with the Savior. I'm just excited to be your pastor and to be able to share a message with you today. To have um, these educators that are in here. You know, we got all these educators in here. Amen. I need to get me some education so I can join you all. Amen. Well, let's read from the book of Numbers. Today I want to talk to you about conquering the grasshopper mentality. In Numbers. Chapter 13, I shall be reading the day, verse 31 to 33, reads like this. Then the men who had gone up with them said, We are not able to go up against the people, but they are stronger than we are. So they brought to the people of Israel a bad report of the land that they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone to spy it out in the land that devours its inhabitants. And all the people that we saw in it are of great height. And there we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, who come from the Nephilim. And we seem to ourselves like grasshoppers and so we seem to them. I want to talk to you today from the thought of conquering the grasshopper mentality. Conquering the grasshopper men mentality. Every one of us have, have been exposed to something. And we have some predilection or some predisposition whereby you may feel somewhat inadequate. You may feel like you don't measure up. But I believe God wants us to conquer that grasshopper mentality. Mm. Hallelujah. There are a lot of people just don't know who they are in Christ Jesus. Preach. They just don't know that they can do all things through Christ who is strengthening them right now. Preach. And as a result of it, rather than them ascending to the heights in which the Lord want to carry them, they're falling to the depths in which the Lord would never want them to go. When we read in the Bible, we read this story. We read the story that everything that God told them was there, was there. Yes. God told them about the promised land. He said, you're going to have houses that you didn't build. You're going to have wells that you didn't dig. Preach. You, you, you are going to have vineyards that you didn't plant. I, I'm giving you something. I'm giving you something. And I just want you to send some spies, 12 spies. Let them spy out the land. Yes. And the Bible says when they spied out the land, the grapes and the clusters were so big, it took two men to carry them. Mm. Oh, Hallelujah. Everything that God said would be there was there. Yes, was. That's why even today we got to let God be true. Hey. Amen. And every man alive. Hey. Because we sometimes perceive things that are not true. We sometimes can't see the trees we can't see the forest from the tree. Yeah. Hallelujah. And people will always see you the way you see yourself. Uh -huh. Look out. We come with these things of feeling inferior. Uh -huh. I can never mount up. 
sometimes girls have this problem. I'm not as pretty as whoever, the boys, um, you know, I'm not as handsome as so-and-so. All of these things don't matter to God. If you remember what was prophesied about Jesus, the Bible said he would have no form of comeliness. All right. That when you see him, you would desire him. Hallelujah. Now, I ain't saying Jesus was ugly, but the, 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 the Bible says that he wouldn't have any form of comeliness. Some of you girls might have turned him down. Hallelujah. So, so you have to be careful because sometimes, you know, you can't tell a book by its cover. And everything that glitter ain't gold. So people will always see you the way you see yourself. Sometimes we see girls and they be big girls. But let me tell you something. She walked like she got it going on. That, that dress might have came from Goodwill, but the way she wear it, man, she actually looked like she got it going on. Way she, she, that hair might have come from the store, but when she throw it back like that, hallelujah. It's, it's, it, that, that confidence, it oozes out of her. She could have been much less if she had allowed that grasshopper mentality to tell us something different. But my mentality tells me that I'm a child of God. Amen. Tells me that I am his own. That he walks with me and he talks with me. You need to know people will always see you the way you see yourself. Amen. And you need to see yourself the way God sees you. And not like people want to see you. I got a problem with some of these names some of y'all give your children. I grew up with a boy, and I hope ain't nobody in here that know him. They, 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 the one boy was called Stank. From a little child. I blame, I blame mom and daddy for that. Whatever demon did that. And some of you all gave nicknames to your children and family. You, you, that's, you did, you're doing them a disservice. Why you didn't call a princess or queen or, or, or you call them these old crazy names. I, I, I have another name that I, I grew up with a guy, Sister Kate know him too. Um, they call him, I, I can't even say it, but they call him that all in life. It, it, you know, it, 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 they call him that, you know, you know, for BM. They call him that all his life. And some of y'all probably there probably know the guy. You can't do me like that. You can't do me like that. Because I am who he said I am. Amen. Hallelujah. People will always see you to where you see yourself. And you need to realize that no matter where you are in life, Amen. everything that's worked against you that setback, mm -hmm. it wasn't nothing but a setup mm -hmm. for a comeback. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if God bring you to it, y'all yes. ain't helping me today. Yes. He'll bring you through it. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen, listen. The Bible tells us this. You need to be confident yes, of this very thing. That he that begun a good work in you yes. shall perform it. God is going to complete the work that he's begun in your life. Doesn't matter who's for you or who's against you or who don't support you. Hang on in there and trust God. No men spied out the land. Caleb was convinced. He was convinced. He said, let us go up at once and possess it. For we be able to overcome it. I'm ready. Are you ready today? Hallelujah. Caleb was confident. The God in whom we serve, he'll let us have this land. He'll let us have it. And he never changed. He never veered away. He held on to those beliefs. You know what? There's something about Caleb that I forgot to tell you. 
The Bible says in Numbers 14, 24. Hold on to me now. Hold on to me. The Bible says in Numbers 14, 24. The Bible says that Caleb had a different spirit. I wonder if there's anybody here who got a different spirit. There are many people who have assailed you. Many people who said you never make it. Many people who said you never amount to anything. Never will forget my brother in love testifying how he he was he I, I don't remember the whole story, but he said he was left on a on, on, I don't know on a step or somewhere or given to somebody with a wet diaper. But look at this man of God today. Look at what God has done in his life and his heart. It's a miracle. That man is a miracle. Listen here. Caleb said that he had a different spirit, for he has holy, with his whole heart, he's followed the Lord. Do you see that? In Numbers 14, 24. He, he fully, wholly followed the Lord. Man, when you follow him fully oh, yeah. and holy, you become bold. Yes, you yes, because the Bible says that the righteous as bold as a lion. I wonder if there are any bold folks in the house today. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I remember when I was a probation officer. I went. I, I used to have to go check on people at their house. And it was late one night and had to go knock on one lady's door. And she said, come in and open the door. And she, she had a staircase coming down. And she ran down the stairs in her negligee. And I, and I said it before I knew I said, get back up them stairs and put some clothes on. She, she took off back up there. Hey, Amen. I'm too old for them tricks. Hey, Tell somebody the tricks for kids. Amen. Now everybody can't do that. Everybody can't do that. But the righteous. Amen. Bold as a lion. I'm in her house and tell her to go put some clothes on. Some of y'all ain't there yet. Let your neighbor say, you ain't there yet. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. There you go. In the name of Jesus. I was just start laying hands on some of you young folk right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But the righteous as bold as a lion. Yes. You you don't you tell somebody you tell the Bible say buy the truth and sell it not. Yeah. You tell people the truth. They don't even want to hear it sometimes, but you got to tell them the truth. Yeah. You know what truth will do? Truth will set you free. Yeah. Anybody free today? Yeah. You know what freed you was true. Yeah. Yeah. Lies will bind you. There are some people that'll be bound the rest of their life yeah. for lies, 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 lies. My goodness. Listen here, Caleb, he had a different spirit. He was a man of vision. He was a man of faith. He was a man of perseverance. He was a man of encouragement. He was a man of loyalty. He was a man of blessings. He was a man of attitude. What kind of man are you today? Are you someone that someone can trust? Someone who keeps his promise? Because we're supposed to be promise keepers. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you're not, and you don't have a different spirit, and you're not bold, mm -hmm. then you ought to be scared. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Three. You ought to be scared. I know folks that ain't living right. When it start lightning, they, they, try to, they try to get you to fall back in the house you can. Start unplugging the TV, the radio. Touch your neighbor and say, I don't have to unplug anything. <laughs> Matter of fact, I might go take a walk out there in the rain. I might start singing in the rain. Because the righteous are as bold as a lion. Folks that ain't live right, they, they have their seatbelt on, their mask on, they have, amen, they have a helmet on sometimes. Just, when you ain't living right, you better run. You better run. Amen. But the righteous. You know God loves his people, folks who are righteous. And when you live right, it, the Bible even says the seed of the righteous shall be blessed. Hallelujah. If you live right, he'll bless your heart. Hallelujah. Can you hear the, the, the man of God testify how his, his wife and his children got saved? And, and now the grandchildren getting saved. Yes, Lord. When, you know, I remember years ago, one of my sons had an accident. And he said, oh, Dad, I'm so sorry, Dad. Car flipped 
two or three times. I don't know how many times the car flipped. I said, son, don't worry about it. I can get another car, but I can't get another son. Hey, Amen. Some of y'all would have been out there fighting in the grass. <laughs> you <wrecked> my car. <laughs> You're out there wallowing the grass. <laughs> you know, some of y'all, listen, God wants his people to see themselves the way he sees you. Yes, Lord. And cast on yes. that mentality that you can't make it, that you're not somebody because you are somebody Amen. in God. People will always see you the way you see yourself. And the Bible says, as a man think in his heart, so is he. One passage of scripture, Paul said, I think myself happy. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I don't want to misquote that, but I believe if you knew what I knew, you'd be happy today. Amen. Hey, because he brought me out yes. of the mire clay. Yes, Any of you all know you ain't supposed to be here. Yes. <laughs> I, some of the countries I, 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 I was I don't even know what country I was in I was so tore up <laughs> hallelujah but God is a good God he loved this boy he loved this boy oh he brought me out he brought me out listen and, and, and so listen the people kept going back to the old thing and that's the way some people are they keep going back to the beggarly elements the things that have caused them not to succeed in life. They keep going back to the old thing. The Bible says they're like a dog returning to his vomit. Like a, a pig or a hog or a sow returning to his, his monk, his mother. Listen, some people keep going back, but I choose to go forward. Amen. The Bible says forgetting those things which are behind me yes. and press toward the mark of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus. Yes, they kept talking about they're taller than we are. They're bigger than we are. And uh, they, we saw the sons of Anakim there. Yes, uh, but I, I heard somebody say, no weapon formed against me yes. Yes. shall in any wise Preach. prosper. Yes. So I'm going to believe God for my next way. I'm going to believe him for the next day. Yes. Listen here. You, you can be all messed up, but it's how you see yes, yourself. Sir. Praise the name of God. Here's a lady, here's a lady, she in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Oh, but she see herself. Oh, My yes, God, yes. She, she, she's a ballerina. How do you see yourself today? Um, the Bible says in Ephesians 2 and 10 that you are his workmanship, yes, created in Christ Jesus. Yes. For good works. The Bible says in Genesis 1.27 that you were created in the likeness of his image. Created he both males and females. How do you see yourself? Yes. Caleb kept seeing. God is able to take us through this here. Yes, God is able to take us through. Yes, and Caleb never gave up. One time he came back about, amen, 40 or 45 years later. And say, I still want my mountain. Yes. Because whatever God promised, yes. He can still deliver. Amen. How do you see yourself? How would you how do you see yourself? This inward calculation of the heart. Some people, they don't even need a devil. They beat their own self up yes. bad enough. <laughs> but you know I come from a um, a dysfunctional family. But join the club. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you, you well, you know I. I come from, I came from a single parent home, but join the club, amen, <laughs> hallelujah, amen, you, you know, you know, some people, they, they, rather than going with God, the Bible says casting down imaginations, all of those things that are in your head, the Bible says cast down those imaginations, yes, it is. sometimes it's your own mind, it's that hopper grass mentality that keeps you from being what God wants you to be, it's that hopper grass mentality, you know, um, I used to, there's a guy used to hang around me and he used to have this thing and say, I ain't nothing but dirt. I ain't nobody. Well, you know, I, I, I realized we came from the dust. So, 
But I'm going to leave you alone on that subject, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to me. As I get ready to close today, uh, your mouth can kill you. Yes, That's you all can. I'm trying to tell you. So you need to learn to be positive. Your mouth can kill you. Yes. Listen, th these people, they kept murmuring. They kept talking about what they can't do. And as a result of it, we are told, are you a good witness for God? Are you really a good witness for God? Are, are you came to the place where you let your light shine before men, that they will glorify your Father in heaven? Have you gotten there yet where your light shines bright? Jesus, when he was here, he says, I am the light of the world. When he got ready to leave, he said, now you are the light of the world. Light's a powerful thing. When you turn the lights on, it dispels darkness. Darkness has to hide. I came in here this morning, the first thing I did was flip the lights on. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the darkness began to dissipate. You are the light of the world. Yes. Listen to me. Yes. We are told that we need to learn to use our mouth wisely. One right. psalmist said it best. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, let them be acceptable in thy sight. What are you saying to yourself? Are you saying things that are well-pleasing to God and that will be well-pleasing to the hearers and the folks who are listening to you? And the Bible tells us also that your tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You're supposed to be taking your tongue and scripting your life. The rest of my life, it's going to be the best of my life. I'm going to be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. I shall be able to live and he shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Your words will catch up with you. Oh, you can say misery on me and agony and all that other stuff. You can say that and that's exactly where you will be at. Because if redeemed folks have to say something, the Bible said, let the redeem of the Lord. So. You've got to say something. And you've got to learn to speak life over yourself. Yes. For the Bible said, death and life is in the power of the tongue. What are you saying to yourself? One, one person in Psalms 118 verse 17 was getting ready to die. He said, I shall not die but live mm -hmm. and declare the works of the Lord. Yes. That's something everybody should have been saying during this pandemic. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And so we read also that the Bible says as believers, we are told by God to call those things as though they were. How many of you are calling those things as though they were? Amen. Even them children, you got to, you got to call them. You got to call them. My son will graduate from, my, from school. My son will be able to do this. My, my daughter will do this here. you got to call those things. And if you call them, God will make it happen. you got to learn to do it. Get rid of that grasshopper mentality. Get rid of the things that's keeping you from succeeding in life. Will you do it? Will you do it? Yes. If you'll do it today, will you stand all over this building today in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank you.